Oh! What do we got? What do we got? Oh my god! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Basquatch. I'm Cody. And I'm Alex. And I'm Ryder. And today, uh, well, we're grocery shopping. Um, we're camping, Southeast Missouri, St. Francis Mountain District. And um, we didn't bring a lick of food or water or nothing. So we're at grocery store. We're gonna see just how cheap we can get away with this trip. That plan failed instantly. Alright, beautiful weekend, campground has a good amount of people in it, so we just jumped on this open site. Doesn't look bad. Enough room for our little tent. Cheap solution for air mattresses pool floats. Alright, it's obviously starting to get hot and steamy. Sunny. Uh, we got camp set up. Quick tour. There's that. One of those. Uh, definitely him. And uh, two of those things. And there's one of those. One really cool thing that we're hoping to run into here is shadow bass. That is the goggle eye variety. Uh, this is break a tailbone shit, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a little spot, huh? He's right here. Oh. <laughs> right her down. Fuck over. Man, y'all, this is, this is, a uh, tough. Granted, this is a pretty, you know, pressured area, but it, it is Saturday, and we, um, may or may not be the first people down the creek this morning. See, when we first start fishing, usually, I'll give Alex, I'll always give Alex the pick of where she wants to, if she wants to lead or if she wants where, you know, what area she wants and that way I'm not interfering with her fish. Um, but after like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour of that, she's looking at rocks. I'm gonna look for rocks. Fish. See, this is really nice. This is a, um, these are what you call shut-ins. We have a lot of them throughout the Ozarks. And they're kind of just a stream that whenever a stream goes into like a valley, a rocky, mountainous valley, um, you get all these outcroppings and stuff and sections of the water get shut in by the rocks, kind of. Still looking for rocks. And Cody hasn't even noticed that I'm not behind him. You don't care. I'll find my way home, I guess. And by home, I mean back to the tent. Fun fact. The St. Francis Mountains are one of the oldest mountain ranges in the entire world. Okay, so when the Appalachians started sprouting, the St. Francis Mountains were already twice 
as old as what the Appalachians are today. Fascinating. Fish in these little streams are a lot smarter than, you know, your average, your average fish. Look at all this pink granite. This is Missouri granite here. It's like a pinkish purple. Beautiful. Big smallmouth and he just went under this rock. I just watched him. <gasps> there he went. Big smallmouth just went up there. Yeah, he came and hid right under this rock and then he shot up there. He's in that pool. I'm holding out that there's going to be bigger and more active smallmouth right below the bridge here. Hopefully I'm right. I hate when I'm not. Okay, I guess I need to go over and around down. Because that gap was a lot bigger than I thought. Over. And around. And down. Then hopefully I can. I just fell. I don't know. <laughs> you fall on this stuff and it hurts, man. It hurts. One hour later. Or maybe we should go there. Or maybe we should go there. That's This isn't as slick as some of the shit. I'm gonna slide into the emergency room. Ain't that how the song goes? How y'all doing? We're gonna slide on down yonder if you guys don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Hey, look. He just caught like a two pound smallmouth. I, I thought that's what I seen. Nice. Yeah, it was a nice fish. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Ow. Man, this would have been sweet at daybreak on top water. I think we just got here too late. It'd be like that in these streams. Oh, I got a big old wind loop or something in my damn line. That's why it's casting like shit. Oh, there we go. What do I got? I think I got a shadow bass. No, a giant green sunfish. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, he's not that massive, but you should see his. Look at that neon orange with the black. Do you see that? Look at this, guys. The spawning male green sunfish. Lepomus cyanellus. When they're in really clear water like this, they, they almost appear a little pale, but they get those grill marks. <laughs> Flip twice. Real marks, bud. Sacrilege. I will strike you. Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. This fish came out of extremely clear water, and so you see those those uh, marks that look like grill marks. This is common in fish that come out of clear water. We're gonna let this guy go. That is beautiful. That's up there with one of the most beautiful ones I've ever caught. We get a few pictures. See you, man. Thanks for making me feel good. All right, I know my leader is almost non-existent, but it doesn't matter. 
what does matter is we have switched to another tackle max bait we have the five inch shark tail worm an amazing finesse bait nice we had a bright orange belly what a beauty I think they're really bland looking fish with a lot of pretty details yeah. You know what I mean? Those are my favorite. Um, I was just thinking, like, if I catch another one, we're getting an underwater video. He ran into my foot. <laughs> he ran right into my foot. Whatever you. He instantly was on it. Or it's a green. That's what it is. <laughs> He's not quite as lit. Oh, square tail. Green sunfish are. Oh, green sunfish are my favorite sunfish. I'll you. you just threw him back where his house isn't. Fine. Can you grab it and like pull yourself up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Back. Back at ye old campsite. Gotta come up with something to save this day. Be back when we do one, two, one, two, break. Let's turn it around our off road overland vehicle. We have come in search of. Joshua McConkey fishing. All right, so we're trying to get Josh's attention. Um, there is one canoe out there on the lake, and there is one Josh's minivan in the parking lot at the lake. So by process of elimination, we're pretty sure that's Josh. We're your biggest fans! Hey, Josh! Come on, you piece of shit. F Cadillac. Take off. Oh god, this thing is scary. This is so scary. What's the range on this thing? Landing. Landing. Hey, I didn't kill it. So what we didn't know is they could hear us loud and clear. They just didn't want to work their way back across the lake and through all those lilies. Which is understandable. Hey, bye Josh. I see you from distance. Yeah. Look at that. All right, we are back at camp for the evening. This is, I'm not used to this. Like, the lights are still on and we're at camp. But that says a lot about the fishing. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I gotta charge you guys, you're gonna die. Don't die. Welcome back to camp. Uh, reporting live from Camp Basquatch. Well, not live. This is at least a week or two. Live anyway, from a recording. In internet land, it's today. Um, fishing was really rough, and that's just how it is. We should have got there earlier. Um, didn't account for that. Can make up all the excuses in the world. We we just sucked today. The, the fish sucked at biting our hooks. But, that's alright, because we're in clean, dry clothes, we're getting the fire going, we're going to grill up some burgers, hot dogs, and some potatoes, yes, more on that in a bit. 
All right. Um, it's up. How do you? You? How do you? How do we need to? It just has to go on the fire. Little pow, 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 pow. So it's one good thing about our um pop-up fire pit. You can watch me make this here. What do you call that sandwich there, right? Uh, call it ant food now. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, Tom's. Technical difficulties. What is that? I don't know, I'm really curious. Yeah. I mean, it sounds so familiar, but it sounds like it's in distress. Ah. Uh, wait, is that? A screech owl. Is that, what you, is that what it is? I bet it is. It is. Eastern screech owl. I I'm like, that did sound like a cat. It did, but then when it started doing that kookaburra sound and shit, I was like, ah. And then I put together because them screech owls are just like me, me. Ooh, look at that! I know it just looks like a slice of bread and some red potatoes, but there's a juicy burger in there. Hmm. Your uh, headlamp's gonna die, buddy. Oh, it is. Uh huh. Yeah, you hear that? That's the sound of bullshit coming from the weatherman's mouth. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I can't say I'm surprised that the weatherman forgot about that 25% chance of rain. That We're getting things cleaned up and dried out. Packed away, gonna get a little bit of food, and then, um, we're not sure. Time allowing, we might wet a line. We might not. Alright, um, we are in route home. Hi, bye. But, there's a point of interest that I've been wanting to check out. I gotta, I gotta get them. I gotta tell them. We gotta cut down Tackle Max Helgram, right? That's not fish. Like you could fish here if it wasn't for all this poison ivy. I could get through to there. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh my god! Oh my god! I caught a warm out! Nice. A beautiful one! What we have here is a warm out! It's a warm out! Rafomus uh, galosis, I believe. Beautiful fish. Males will get this red spot on the tip of their ear whenever they're spawning. You can, you can tell this isn't a rock bass. Because right here, the anal fin only has three spines. Only three spines. Rock bass have six because they're in a different genus of sunfish. They're not the same. Alright, cool. My first warm mouth of the year. Woo! Alright guys, well that does it for another camping, fishing, outdoors adventure 
from Basquatch 90. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, we would really appreciate it if you left this video a thumbs up, left a comment, letting us know that uh, you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoy content like this, please hit the subscribe button, weekly videos and whatnot. And, um, and stay wild. Stay wild. Stay wild. And stay 15% off Ben's Pro Gear. With, with promo code stay wild. At checkout. Yeah. Yeah, what they said. <laughs> Start trying reverse psychology. I hate fish. I'm not here to catch them. I hope I don't catch a damn fish. Do I not have any maple syrup? It's your boy, Basquatch. Don't let its size and appearance fool you. Throw some cheese on that bitch. A worm worm, you know what I mean? Big worm. Oh damn it, I forgot my coupons. That beach meat. That tree looks juicy. Oh, yay. Hey, y'all know where to catch a fish? It's like a cold jacuzzi. Top stri uh, bleh, black striped top minnow. I will give a little bit of that out to her. Dude, look at this. This is a sweet setup right here.